Hey, and welcome to Bit Talk. This is Paul Avendano, but you may know me in the video game world as PPP, Pizzle, and currently on the PlayStation Network, I'm Buri Taicho, and welcome to Bit Talk. Today, we're going to be talking about the game Bosconian. I'd like to give a shout out to Sebi. He is the one who made this request, and here you go. I hope you enjoy what I found. This wasn't a game that I've ever really played before, so it was interesting and really the whole process, looking everything up and finding a copy of the game and playing it is actually pretty cool. I hope more of you guys make requests like this one. Bosconium was released by Namco in Japan on November 1981. In North America, it was manufactured and distributed by Midway Games. This was one of the first games to feature diagonal directions, diagonal movement. You know, I can move however I want to move. I'm not restricted between lefts and rights. And a radar. For this game, Namco borrowed a couple different ideas from previous titles. They used the hardware from Galaga. And they used the video system from Rally X. Another first was that this game had the option to continue. But hey, if you wanted to make it hail, don't worry. There is a dip switch setting that you could change and make it to where you couldn't continue anymore. But we'll just keep that our little secret. Bosconian won an award for the best science fiction coin-op game in January of 1983, beating Atari's Gravatar, no, not Avatar, I see you, and Sega's Zaxxon. Zaxxon. Ha ha ha. If you'd like to play trivia, this just in. There are some interesting facts about the game. Ken McLeod, hope I said that right, attained the world record for the most points at 2,913,150, and he achieved this on February 24th of 1983. Some more interesting but useless information. The spy ship from Galaga makes a cameo as one of the three ships in the game Ridge Racer. There is a car that has Bosconian as a sponsor. Hey, uh, you want to look that up? You want to see it? Uh, you're a little interested in seeing it? Uh, you want to see it? You want to know what it looks like? Well, it's white and it's red, and it's named R.T. Bosconian. It also has a sister from another mister, and the other Namco title turned sponsor is R.T. Nebula's Ray. These cars were also used in Ridge Racer, Ridge Racer 2, Ridge Racer 64, and Ridge Racer DS. So you check out this game, you watch this video, and you're thinking, hey, that's a pretty pretty cool game. Pretty far out, bruh. Pretty cool, dude. Huh? Yeah. Well, if you'd like to try it out and you don't have a cabinet nearby, you can play this game on the PlayStation, PlayStation 2, PlayStation Portable, the OG Xbox, the original you know how they have all those weird names for the Xbox X1, XP3CO, and all that other kind of nonsense. But we'll just call it the OG Xbox for the original Xbox. Eh, well, that's what OG means. Xbox 360, GameCube, and the Wii! It's also on the Switch. Now the moment you've all been waiting for. Here is Bosconian. Ooh, look at all them copyrights. Yeah, so this version of the game, I'm playing it on the GameCube. Really, it uh, it has a lot, of, a lot of classic titles on here. So really, besides just this one game, check them out. You have a lot of buddies that you like to hang out with and try to brag about who's better at games. Well, you can see who's better at Pac-Man. Miss Pac-Man. Mappy! I don't even know what game that is. Yeah, we don't care about any of these other games. Nope, there it is right there. Oh, hey, you gotta unlock points to be able to get these games. Anyway, let's, let's do this. 
Yeah, we don't need two players. But Bosconian. Let's do this. Oh yeah. So we got the radar here. The green. Oh yes. See so you shoot both in front and behind you. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, and you're trying to... Hey! That was not supposed to happen. I was... I got a little too close there. A little too close for comfort. Yes. Oh, you see that yellow? The condition? That means there's going to be more guys after me. So, that is, uh... Oy, not a good... Not a good ting. Not a good... Good ting, man. Oh, 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 oh. Gotta take this alert off. If you ever watch Star Trek, you always know. Oh, Captain! Whoa! Captain, we have a, a Klingon ship on the right sea order of the seashell. And they're like, oh no, Captain, we must cloak. Oh no! Yeah, I ran right into that one. It's like the, hey, do you want to know how not to play this game? Do what I'm doing. But yeah, so, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, nice. He ran into an asteroid. I didn't even know they could do that. Let's see, the king of one-hit kills. So you don't have to have to destroy all the th all the tingies in the middle. Oh, oh 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 oh! You can if you can get it right in there and split split the defense. I guess I can't do it. My dragon punch is too weak. You are ready for level two. Okay. Let's do this again. So th this is essentially what this game is, is, you know, you do different, different levels. Uh, I no. You know what I can't put up there? The famous three letters. Let's do this one more time. All right, so let's look at the little radar. Move around, move around. Oh, 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 oh. Get the little boomerang. These little F, uh, I don't know my, I don't know my, hey, I don't know my jets. I don't know my jets, but I'm jet by, by name, not by game. I'm sure only a few of you will get what that means. Oh, 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 there we go. Hey, we got another one up here. Oh, 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 come on. There we go, there we go, there we go. It's like almost easier to shoot behind you then it oh then oh your mom got in my blind spot should have used my side mirrors or my blinker actually my blinkers are going right now you see them in the back but i'm trying to I'm trying to break check whoa no Ooh. no uh oh condition is yellow when it gets to red, that's when they start going into psycho crushing mode and oh, start sending all kinds of dudes after you if you if you know what I mean. Yeah, man, know what I mean. Know what I mean, Joe. Mm. Game over that quick? Oh man. Okay, let's do this one more time. One more time. Oh, it's because I'm continuing. Haha, <laughs> remember? You can continue in this game. So, I wonder how many... How many arcades actually let you continue? I figure that would be kind of counterproductive, but at the same time... Hey! Um... I wondered if they if they had it on. How many had it, had it on to have people... Be like, you know what? I'm gonna beat this game because there was a game that uh, me and my friend Brian played. It was called Carnival. Ooh, we play. Hey, we played it at uh, the Mall of the Mainland uh, in Galveston, and <laughs> it was a terrible game. Honestly, I don't know why we even started playing it. And man, I couldn't tell you how much money we ended up investing in that thing. I call it investing. Like there was some uh, ROI, if you know what I mean. Woo! Uh, ooh, I lucked out there. If there was really like some type of return on it, other than just saying we beat the game, and ooh, man, if we didn't spend like five dollars on that game, then oh, 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 no! I saw that one coming too. 
But yeah, we ended up spending spending a good amount of money to play that game. And after we were done, like we looked at each other and we were just thinking, hmm, why did we why did we spend that much money on this game? The game's not even worth it. There were other cooler games we could have could have played, but I don't know. It was just one of those things that we got caught in the moment and we just had to beat the game. So. I wonder how many how many of them dudes, bro, uh, actually actually let you continue. Oh man! Hey, that, you know I just thought it I just thought of something. No, that didn't work. I was thinking I could. Uh oh, code red, code red, code red. Oh! Get out of here with that, seriously? All right, what I was gonna do was I was gonna go between two of these little polyhedrons. Oh! <clears throat> you would think that I would know that that guy's gonna go that way. All right, all right, all right. Really what I wanna do is I wanna get that high score, but I don't know if it's gonna happen because somebody sucks at this game. There we go, there we go, get out of here, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, you gon' you gonna die, boys. Hmm, maybe maybe it's not a bad idea to escape. Whoa. Whoa, 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 Son Goku. Hey, see how I shot it in the middle? Oh so yeah, you can shoot it in the middle like what I was saying earlier. I thought the little the little gate had to be open so you can see his little eye, but he uh, he did not expose his eye. Hi, Blake. Or oh, wait, hi, Mark. Oh, choo 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 train. Look at them little thingies. You can't hit me. I'm slicker than Fabio. You could never see my underpants. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, so close to the top score. I don't know if you could hear that. Well, so this game would be a good game to play if you have a bunch of friends over. It's really it's it's the same thing over and over again, just different stages. So the 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 battleships, the Battlestar Galacticas, they're in different areas of the map. So Essentially, you're playing the same game over and over again. I mean, it was back in the 80s where they couldn't have this open world where you can donkey punch somebody and take their car and, ha-ha, got it, and then, you know, do up, down, left, right, A, start, and get yourself any level you want. No, this was the 80s, so the games weren't as advanced as they are now. It is... I'd like to give another shout out to Sebi. Thank you for requesting this game. This game, there really wasn't a lot of information on it. And I didn't really see anyone that reviewed the game. And all they reviewed on it was, really some of them were, were all right. Not saying that mine's way better than theirs, but they didn't have any of the information of when the game was made. And some of the, some of the boring, useless information that I ha that I put in here that uh, that wasn't in there either there honestly there wasn't that much information on the game so I hope this met your expectation uh, go ahead and request another one and I'll get to it in the order that I get them in this one was kind of hard to find a, a so playable version of this game but yeah it doesn't have to be doesn't have to be the you know famous titles that everyone knows of i, I kind of want to steer away from those as much as i can just 
because we already know a lot of information about the other one. So I'd like to try to do something, do something a little different and do something and, you know, shed some new light on stuff. But hey, I mean, request whatever you want to request. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, then let me know by giving me the Caesar thumbs up. If you don't like it, that I'm, I'm not talking to you. Go away. Bye. See ya. No, really. See ya. Go away. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Now, if you don't like it, just let me know what you didn't like about it. I will take your feedback into consideration and try to improve it because I want to make this enjoyable for everyone. Make you enjoy a game you didn't even know you enjoyed. So, yeah, go ahead and do all that stuff. And if you haven't already, subscribe. You know, typical YouTube stuff that people say for YouTube. So, insert, insert all that information again here. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, this is Paul Mandano with BitTalk. And thank you. Have a good one. Please, please, please. Peace out. All the time, baby, for life.